Welcome back everyone. This is Mike with Door and Lock Tips and we have a beautiful lock today. It's a Hudson lock. We're going to continue with the removable core locks that are normally found in casework, offices, hospitals, all kinds of office furniture. You've heard of Hudson. I mean that is world renowned really. I've got the key to it and that works real nice. This is a deadbolt type lock and I'm going to install it on the lockers but it's interesting. Hudson's removable core key can work along with the Han. So Han's key and also Hudson. That's good to know. I found out just by experimenting. I can take the Knoll removable core key, the control key, and looky there. That takes it out too. We have a lot of options here. So here's what I recommend. If you make a kit like this, try your control keys because chances are they might work. I mean, who would ever dream this little knoll removable core key would take out the core? But looky there, it works. Here's a lot close up. Hudson lock, removable core, nicely built, really is. So if you're going to drill out your cabinet, make sure you have a 7 8 inch hole already in there. And most cam locks are only 3 quarter inch. If you have an Olympus lock, which is so beautiful, look at this bad boy. This is all pins in here. You have this lock already in there and you want to switch it out with a Hudson. I don't suggest that happening. You'd put a Olympus in where a Hudson was at. The uh, Hudson is wafers. This is pins. The nice thing about an Olympus is it's the same size. So it'd be an easy swap. It has the ability to use the regular change key, which it comes with two, or a control key, which will yank that little cylinder right out. Isn't that cool? Look at how neat this is. And there's a slot at the top inside there. And that's where that little jewel goes up there. Just like that. And the control key does not turn the cylinder. Just so you know. Only the change keys. And sometimes you have to be in a locked or unlocked mode Let's see if this one's like that, to be able to yank out that, that core key. Let's just see. It might be that way. Yep, so don't be fooled. Go up to it and you go, oh, I can't get the cylinder out. Well, believe it or not, you've got to be in the unlocked mode. That's kind of a pain. Now it comes out. Well, I guess they don't want you to pull a core out and have the, the door or the drawer locked up. So it's nicely built. Showing off the removable core idea, which is really cool. I like that. The knoll works. And also, the Han. Believe it or not, the Han works in it as well. Watch this. Gonna wiggle it a little bit, but it works too. So if you're out in the field and you you have a pile of control keys and you you think, well, hey man, let me test them all. Go ahead and do it. But it it'll have to be in the unlocked or locked mode. It even says that right here in the directions from uh, Easy Key. I like this place, Easy Key. They suggest for the Hudson lock, they suggest a Han removable core key. $6.50 worth of heaven. I love it. So let's install this bad boy. Here's the new home of the Hudson Lock. I just have to drill the hole a little bigger. This is a standard three quarter inch hole right here. And I need to make it into seven eighths. This is what I'm going to use to make the hole bigger. I use a step drill. This is cobalt material. It's not a cobalt brand. You can get this in a 
the electrician's area at Lowe's or Home Depot and they're easily sharpened. You just grind along the, the cutting edge. Just slightly grind this and you can sharpen these bad boys back up. But if you get a nice cobalt material, they will last forever. So that's what I'm going to make the, that hole over there where the new home of the, the Hudson's going to be. I'm going to make that hole bigger and you use a step drill because it, it won't wander. The existing hole is already there, three quarter inch. Notice the seven eighths is right at the top. So that's the, the size I need, seven eighths. Let's hope I don't slide around. We don't want to do that. If you're in a hospital environment, you gotta use a vacuum the entire time you're drilling. You dust kills and it scares the patients. You want a real quiet vacuum, not one like this. A small HEPA vacuum. This is really the vacuum you want. It's teeny. It's made by Festools. Wonderful. Go down to Woodcraft and they will sell you this bad boy. I think it's like $350 worth of heaven. Great little quiet vacuum and nice bags. It's a HEPA vacuum and that's what you have to own to work in hospital environments. And the nice thing is it goes right on your cart. I don't know if you noticed my little cart in here, but that cart right there, it'll fit right on the bottom shelf and you'll be happy that you have your Fest vacuum with you because you'll be using this a lot. Hey guys, I take a black marker, permanent marker, and run it right on the inside of this hole that you just cut. And it makes a beautiful look. It looks just like the outside and you can't see any shiny metal that you've, uh, you know, created by drilling a hole. I always use a square, make sure that the lock is completely straight. I don't want it crooked. You can either use epoxy on the inside or this is really for a wood application. But you can glue the lock right in place. Just remember to use a square. It's all installed. And the whole reason we're installing this lock in a locker, you're gonna run into removable core locks just like this beautiful little Hudson and you're going to need a core key. And when you have the core key, you can pull the core right out of this lock. Isn't that cool? And then possibly, you might want to put an electronic lock in place of it. I highly suggest, guys, you get an electronic lock. You know, these locks, they're okay, but when you run into so many problems, with this type of lock, the keys, I mean, really, do we want, do we want nuisance keys, core keys? Why don't we just start out fresh with a Compex regulator lock? They are super locks. I love Compex. They're a great lock. They're tried and true. You got a little problems with stuff, but if you do the PM work, change the batteries every six months, they won't corrode and the lock will last a lifetime. And the really cool thing about an electronic Compex regulator lock is that it's self-latching. So when you close the door, it'll latch right behind you. And you won't have to worry about, oh, did I lock that lock? Did I put in that combination? Or did I turn the key? Really, keys are so yesterday. Start out fresh, use an electronic Compex regulator lock. You'll be so happy to use it each and every day. Compex to the rescue. Compex regulator. These are great locks. Compex is the ruler of cabinet locks throughout the industry. If you go to their site, Compex.com, you will freak out out. They are so cool. They have so many different flavors of cabinet locks, electronic locks. 
They really are the wave of the future, really. And the company has been around for years. Get rid of your nuisance keys. Go over to Compex. Talk to the guys. Talk to the salesmen. They have a great staff. They have guys that are in the field, reps that you can talk to, and they also have tech support. At a moment's notice, you call up and they go through the little tree and it says tech support. You just talk to tech support. They'll help you out. And really, you won't need tech support because these regulator locks are tried and true. Get rid of your nuisance keys. Go to Compex. Talk to them guys. You will love it. And you'll never think twice about another lock. There we have it, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends for more door and lock tips like this coming in the future.